so much for joining us. And it is Diabetes Awareness Month, so we're checking in with the president of the Diabetes Association, Andrew Danu, and Lorraine Rosland, who is the marketing manager of Tattoo, who has donated a diabetic eye screening camera to the Diabetes Association. Good morning to you, Lorraine. Good morning to you, Andrew. Good morning, Natalie. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. So, Andrew, Diabetes Awareness Month, and I find it took long to call me to come and get my HB1C. Yes, yes. And, and you know you're always welcome at the association. Um, we always have the, those tests ready for you. And of course, um, the last time that you came to us, we tested your eyes. Now uh, we have an additional camera that we could be do even more testing yeah. uh, that we would have gotten from that. But this month is Diabetes Awareness Month. And the, the, the theme for this month is access to diabetes care. Yeah. Um, the Diabetes Association and Tata and Tata Life have uh, decided to go a little bit extra and focus on self-care because we know that uh, during the pandemic and the restrictions that has been brought on by it, we need to empower people more, not more than ever, to take better care of themselves, take better care of themselves through nutrition education, through increased physical ex physical activity, through medication adherence, and of course, foot care and eye care. So this is why the Diabetes Association has been pushing throughout the month um, or screening on our education campaigns, um, just for the diabetic eye screen program, we have been going to communities across Trinidad and Tobago. Um, we have 17 communities that we would have hit or are hitting. Today we're in Point Fortin. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, we were in Sawa, next week we're in Tobago. Um, and, and we're going throughout the country aiming to screen about 500 persons living with diabetes for diabetic retinopathy and other eye diseases which they may have never been tested for before. And that is so important, and thank you so much for the work that you're doing with the Diabetes Association. Well, Lorraine, I see that Tattle has joined the Diabetes Association to enhance that access to diabetic care. Talk to us about why Tattle decided to get involved. Sure. Tattle and Tattle Life have actually been involved since 2019. As healthcare, as healthcare insurance providers, we are ideally positioned to see the effect of diabetes on citizens and of course on our clients. And while healthcare insurance may be our business, we are also human beings. And the results that we see coming at us every month have been heart-rending. So really it was a no-brainer for us to embrace this social responsibility. And in fact, it is something that is really embraced throughout the Anson Academy at every level. Um, all of us know somebody or have somebody in our family who have some form or may have some form of diabetes. If we look at the figures and we say that perhaps um, as many as 140,000 people in the country have diabetes and many more are pre-diabetic and do not know that they have it, uh, the figures are really quite astonishing. Trinidad and Tobago is fifth in the world for the prevalence of diabetes. Um, and, and you know, your previous guest spoke, he was speaking about the vaccination for the virus, coronavirus. And that's something that's very much in our face. Diabetes tends to creep up on us and we laugh off the fact that we have a little bit of sugar. Um, whereas in fact, we should be taking, you know, we should be going and testing um, because unmanaged diabetes, when you cross over from being pre-diabetic to diabetic, um, there are a whole lot of dangers that are associated with your health thereafter. Right. So, Andrew, this, this diabetic eye screening camera that you have, what other diseases do you think it will be able to pick up? We're talking about diabetic re uh, retinopathy, but what else? So, when the diabetic eye, eye, eye screening is done, it's a dilated eye exam, um, we are able to detect diabetic retinopathy, which is one of like feet bleeding at the back of the eyes. Um, through this test, we could also be able to identify um, macular degeneration, um, even cataract, and some other minor eye diseases that the physician or the ophthalmologist that we work with at the Trinidad Eye Hospital would be able to grade and uh, detect any of these eye diseases, even at the very early stages. So thus far, since we've launched a program over a year ago, we've been able to screen over a thousand persons directly through the Diabetes Association, but also much more at the other 
um, peripheral events. And what we're able to detect is almost 50% of persons living with diabetes throughout the country have some form of sight threatening eye disease. Mm. And for many of these persons, they may have never gone for an eye test if they had to pay for it or if they had to go out of their communities for it. So we're going into communities, we're providing this free for them. And we're now detecting these eye diseases at a stage where interventions can be made and we can save their sight. So this is something that is remarkable because saving the sight of people and, and many, many persons um, who are living with diabetes want to develop these diseases, macular degeneration, cataract, uh, retinopathy. And if it is that we can save it and now with the, with the efforts of Tata, we can now double our efforts. We, we yeah. can now double the amount of people we can, we can screen. And we're hoping that the Ministry of Health comes on and we have even more cameras and expand the, expand the program even more. Um, now, we really have a fighting chance of, of, of at least preventing one of the main complications of diabetes and helping thousands of people in Trinidad. Yeah. And, 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 and Lorraine, I think this is a, quite a good move on a title's part because when you talk about a, you know, a healthcare insurance provider, a lot of times all we think about is the monies we're doling out to these insurance companies. And to see that you know, Tattle has taken the opportunity to try to get to the point where people may, not that they won't need the healthcare or won't need insurance, but that they can safeguard themselves even more, I think is quite tremendous. Thank you so much. But I think that you know, for us, um, in the last couple of years with coronavirus, we haven't been able to do the outreach that we associate with our program at Tattle and Tata Life. And we haven't been able to do, for instance, the walkathon that we have with the Diabetes Association. And so we were really looking to support the effort of the association in other ways. So every year we put out um, collateral material. This year we have material on foot care, eye care, and once again, self-care for type 1 and type 2 diabetes. We can't ever put out enough of that. And those pamphlets tend to leap off our hands as soon as we print them. You can pick them up at any Tattle and Tattle Life office um, around the country and in Tobago. But we've also done educational videos with nutritionists, with podiatrists, with ophthalmologists, um, so that you can actually go on to our website uh, diabetes.tattle.co.tt um, and, and see these videos, which are very, very simple, um, best care uh, uh, advice from experts in the field. Um, and we also have a number of efforts that we take with our 6,000 strong and Macau staff. A lot of education that goes on there, and therefore it has a very wide spin off effect because 6,000 people are touching many other lives. And within Tattle and Tattle Life itself, itself, our staff are involved in a number of efforts just to raise the awareness around this disease. And one of the things I'd like to mention here, Natalie, is that we are moving towards a major anniversary, <clears throat> which is the 100 year anniversary of the first successful injection of insulin, which took place in Canada in 1922. So on the, 20, on the 23rd of January, 2022, the first successful injection of insulin was administered by Best and Banting, who were the discoverers of insulin. And so that's a really important recognition yeah. um, that's going to be placed then, and we will be doing a countdown to that and education around it. Well, I'm definitely happy to hear. Keep up the good work. So, Andrew, with this uh, camera that you've got, as you said, it has, it has allowed the Diabetes Association to do so much more. But talk to us some more about, you know, the theme this year, access to care and, you know, going out into the communities and what else you have planned for the rest of the month. Yeah. So we do have a, 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 a packed month of activities. Uh, last weekend, we had our Carlton Bill of Diabetes webinar uh, again, focusing on access to diabetes care, and we had seven presenters. We were able to um, have about 700 attendees log in and much more on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, so, so we were able to reach many, many persons. We are focusing quite a lot on nutrition because we know that nutrition is one of the sore points of diabetes care. It's one of the most, um, it's one of the diffi most difficult things for persons to be able to control, and it is really, it really does contribute 
sometimes the most you care, even more than medication at some points in time. Uh, because nutrition is multifaceted. It, it, it's not just about what you put in your mouth, but it's about access to the food, being able to afford the food, being able to know how to cook the food when you actually get the food that yeah. you purchase um, as an ingredient. And this is what we, we are focusing on. So we've started together with our volunteer yeah. nutritionists and dietitians, we've started a, a nutrition counseling program, which is free to the Diabetes Association. And we're also going to be doing this Saturday and next week, Saturday, a series of workshops. Um, so one workshop this Saturday is going to be for children. The other on the following side is going to be adults. Now we're going to be broadcasting live on our Instagram and Facebook pages, but it is going to be an in-person workshop for, for a few of the children and adults. So we're going to be continuing this, showing them how to prepare meals, how to make choices, be sugar smart, and again, take care of their diabetes or prevent diabetes. One of the other major initiatives that we are planning to, again, going from the head to the toe, is looking at foot care. Um, there are about 500 amputations every year in Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, many of those are due to um, poorly controlled diabetes and what we refer to as diabetic, uh, nephro uh, diabetic neuropathy, uh, which is loss of sensation at the bottom of the feet and, and, and at the extremities. So we have a, a, the ability to detect this very early on uh, by using a very simple instrument, it looks like a little straw or monofilament, and we are going to be working with podiatrists and working with, with, with foot care um, physicians. And we are developing a program where we're going to be training 100 persons, 100 lay persons. They are going to be going into communities, similar to how we do a diabetic retinopathy program, and perform preliminary screening on persons living with diabetes. So we're going to try to detect the, 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 the numbness at the bottom of the foot before it becomes a problem, before it becomes it goes to the stage where you step on a nail and you don't feel it and then get, get gangrene and you lose your leg. We don't want that to happen. We want to be able to detect it before the, a problem can occur. So when we, when, when we do launch a program, and we're going to be launching it this year, we're going to be starting the training and then of course early next year we're going to send persons to the communities and we're hoping to detect these and then of course direct persons to care. Similarly, to, similar to the way that we do the, the, the retinopathy screening. So this is one of the other initiatives at the association. And of course, we continue to do HbA1c screening and lipid <coughs> testing and many other um, free counseling and screening sessions at the association throughout the country. And of course, they are, they are available to anybody. You don't necessarily need to be a member to access the right. association. And to just share with us the numbers that they can call or how they can get uh, in contact with the Diabetes Association, you know, if they want to access these services that are so sure, free number, and so good. Yeah, so our number is 607-DATT, that's 607-3288. Um, they could call us Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Our office in Chubonas at Arima's, Arima is open. And then they could also reach us through instant messaging on Facebook and Instagram on our Diabetes Association pages. We're, very, we're quite responsive. So if you reach out to us, we're going to be um, contacting you and trying our best to help you. All right. We have to leave it there, unfortunately. But uh, Lorena, thank you so much for the work that Tantal is doing with the Diabetes Association. I hope the partnership continues to grow. We can see two more of those cameras, you know, <laughs> so that the work can continue to increase. And Andrew, thank you so much for being with us here this morning as well. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, you're most welcome. Uh, marketing manager there of Tattle talking to us about Lorraine Rostand talking to us about its partnership with the Diabetes Association and just, you know, doing its corporate social responsibility to try to keep us healthy. A lot going on for diabetes awareness. They're going right across the country, helping you to get those HB1Cs, your screening and, you know, just helping with the access to care. That's the theme for this month. So call them. 607-3288, 607-3288, and go get access to care.